Hey everybody, welcome to Geeks Varna Live and welcome to episode two of the DGI show on Geeks Varna. Now, this is a sporadic show in terms of that I'm, I'm going to broadcast it as and when we have enough information to make things interesting. I don't want to make these rumour and leak shows every week or even every month if we don't know anything particularly new about what's going on. This is really our show. This is this is the home on Geeks Varna for rumours, leaks and speculation that so many of the DGI fans enjoy talking about. And it's it's a unique concept, really. The the leak and rumour culture within the tech industry and then within that, the DGI side of things has sort of really grown uh, its, its, its own personality, really. And so many people enjoy talking about these things. Let me know what you think in the chat as we're going along. And also, if you're watching the replay, hit the comments with your thoughts on these release dates. Chatting to you guys, chatting to the audience is 90% of the enjoyment for this type of content for me. Um, hence, I've already been chatting to you all in the live chat uh, before the show starts as well. And thank you very much um for coming in uh john qp why are you here get out um I, I really do appreciate everyone coming in especially the early people uh, jasper ellens 27 leaks good to see you as well there is actually a link in the description i'm going to be mentioning jasper a few times tonight there's a link in the description to jasper's twitter feed if you want to know about what's actually going on with the dji rumors and leaks it's a, a great place to go uh, his twitter feed has a lot of information uh, for you to go back and look at and he's always bringing out new and exciting bits and pieces as well it's where a lot of the pictures from tonight's show are coming from as well. So uh, I de definitely recommend that 100%. And it's great to see all the regulars in the chat as well. Um, Airy Star UK Media, thank you for your kind words regarding our work at Dronex. Uh, it is a shame I didn't bump into you as well. There's a, a few people afterwards that actually said we were surprised how many of the viewers came to see us, and there was, uh, but we were still had people after saying, "Ah, oh, it's a shame we didn't catch you." We are going back there next year, but also on that side of things, uh, we've actually got. Um, sorry, I'm laughing at John Cupy's comments out, out the side of my eye there. Um, we've also got uh, an exciting announcement coming up in December where you're going to be able to come along and actually our channel members are going to be able to come along and um, and some viewers as well win tickets to a, a drone day event at a very special location where we're going to be flying some cool drones having a barbecue yes in December uh, and chilling out together and live streaming from there as well but you'll have a chance to be the audience and to come along and fly drones with us etc as well so I've got an announcement on that coming up very very soon which is um, which is very very exciting um so yes so we have an announcement which obviously has come out so now as, as i say you're, you're going to see imagery coming up from this from time to time um, a lot of it is coming from the jasper ellens 27 leaks twitter uh, it's good to see you in the in the chat as well jasper and thank you for keeping me informed myself and jasper actually on twitter we've now got a thing which has quickly grown and, and evolved actually where we we've started to talk to each other in spongebob emojis so if you can work out what we're saying to each other um that, that's sometimes fun so we we have a new launch event announced by dgi now this is all speculation opinion uh, what others are telling me what's um uh, what i think might happen going on how the leaks have been going so far but none of this is actually fact so just but just bear that in mind uh, it, it is it is important and hi to to june now i'm, I'm going to mess your name up i'm afraid uh, june loco 619 he's a new subscriber a eh? hi good to see you thank you very much for becoming a new subscriber to the channel if you are new here do hit that subscribe button because it does help us an awful lot and also of the wonderful people that are still watching i can see the like button already getting hit by lots of you but if you could hit that like button nice and early uh, it does help we would really appreciate it but we've had this new exciting you can just see my hands that's how excited i am this new exciting announcement from dgi and it's titled good things come in threes so we have three release dates october 20th october 27th and november the 5th and we have these three little boxes which i'm i'm very excited about because it's something that's you know it, it, it it's it's something which is actually coming and it's officially announced it's on the dji global it starts off on the chinese uh, twitter feeds but now it's actually on the dji global one as well let me just bring that up larger so we can see these things so we've got three boxes here the first one with a record symbol in the middle for october 20th well that doesn't narrow it down too much but perhaps it's you know could be something more camera focused we need to see october 27th and november 5th gets a bit more interesting because we start to see 
these little symbols showing the attachment um, uh, protocols for anyone that's got a Ronin or anything else like that, you'll, you'll, you'll recognize those little dots as uh, perhaps something you use to attach modular items together with. And then, of course, we have these battery light markers at the bottom here for the November 5th. So very interesting, all within the same shape, all within the same type of design. Now, this is a marketing release, so this doesn't necessarily mean it is, you know, something which is... Um, uh, uh, absolutely indicative of the final product obviously previous releases previous releases we've seen from dgi have had everything from people flying a large paper airplane to abstract pictures of a prop from an upcoming drone or something so it doesn't necessarily tell us exactly what what's coming but it is very interesting nonetheless and it's always interesting i like looking back after the events to see what these pictures actually tell us uh, but it would be interesting to tell me, let, let me know in the, some of you are already doing it now, but let me know in the comments what you think um, these 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 products could be coming um, uh, uh, are, frankly. I have one thing to put, it, to put forward. Let me just move this little picture aside a moment so we can keep it up there, but also talk about it. And you can see my beautiful face as well. Uh, shall I put it back? No, okay. Could this actually just be one product? There's a, there's a lot of talk about it being three products, and we're going to come on to that in a moment as well. But I, I want to throw something else out there as well, another another theory, as it were, that I've seen online and that others are talking about as well. Could this actually be one product? It is unusual for DJI to release multiple products like this so close to each other. And I'm wondering actually whether or not this could actually be um, the, um, the Action 2, but actually as a modular camera so just bear that in mind later in the show when i'm talking about this and whether or not they're going to release the action 2 on the 20th on the 27th hence the little modular symbols i'm trying to point to something that you can't see me pointing to in the middle the little modular attachments that could be a modular attachment turning it into a 360 camera that type of thing and the third thing could be another attachment so perhaps the one product is going to hit three marketplaces I don't know. It, it, it could be interesting. Um, oh, it's a, a super chat just come in. Thank you very much from Ken Heron. Hi, Ken. A $10 super chat. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. On location, replacing props after hitting a swing set. <laughs> Have a good show, Sean. And uh, a little uh, sunglasses emoji there. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate that. I'll actually be co-hosting with Ken this Thursday on his Thursday Night Live show. And before that, we'll be live again here on Geeks Varna with the three amigos. We're together to talk about the um, the other videos which we've been putting out recently so feedback directly from the CAA to your questions and comments on their interviews um, but also we're going to be talking about the uh, touching on the drone prep um, and the Kipling Hall landowner airspace issue that we were live streaming on yesterday about so uh, yeah looking looking forward to that but thank you very much Ken great to see you sir so it, it is it is perhaps something that could be add-ons and that type of thing you know that that's that's just i'm just trying to put another another thought process out there our, our awesome friend jasper ellens uh, over at 27 leaks um, uh, put, put the time together to perhaps suggest some of the things that he thinks might be um the items released so perhaps the first one with the record button could be the the dji pro camera which we've seen so much of out in the wild uh, people testing it and, and and that type of thing the then the second one absolutely could be the uh, the action too because then again there is the picture as, as it's showing from one of jasper's uh, leaked pictures on the right hand side showing that exact port at the top of the action two which is coming up uh, so that, that that's interesting and then of course the bottom one there showing a very similar design to the mavic 3 battery which has recently been leaked out um, and it's across the interwebs as well with the with the distinctive line so this could be a three product hit we could be seeing the dji pro camera the action 2 coming out the following week and then the mavic 3 again it is speculation but you know it, it, it is backed up by a lot of um, information that jasper has been putting out there and again as i said there is a link to jasper's twitter feed in the description below so do go and have a look at that we we've, we've seen of course peter mckinnon um of of huge youtube fame has put out a recent video uh, where he was wasn't talking about anything to do with these products but actually the products managed to sneak in and as you can see here for another picture from jasper's feed you can see the um very clearly the action two box um down the bottom there and there's a little zoom in on it where it starts to break up a little bit unfortunately 
um, showing again that the, the action too. Now that has since been blurred out in his video. If you go back and watch it now, the YouTube creators have a little facility where if there's something we want to change, we can actually blur someone's face or a number plate, that type of thing out. And he's gone back and done that to the video. Some have said he's enough of a professional to not have had something embargoed show and could it have been a bit of free PR because it's certainly got everybody chatting about it on Twitter and that type of thing. Be interesting to see from that point of view. Um, but that was the first time that we saw um, uh, something perhaps away from the leak Twitters and that type of thing um, from, from that point of view. Now, in terms of the action to itself, this is something, again, this is this comes from Jasper Ellen's uh, uh, Twitter feed, which is where I get, as I say, where I get most of this information from. We, we see a couple of um, items explaining the um, the action too. And what's, what's interesting to me beyond photos is these, these drawings show it very much as something which is modular. Um, so as you can see here, it's, it's showing the two, the lenses actually on top of each other, the two camera sections rather on top of each other. So, so then as it says before attaching to the camera, press once to check the battery level, which obviously we all know that very well with the DJIs. After attaching to the camera, press once, power on, take photos or start, stop recording. And then a very simple on off function there and you can swipe the front touch screen to access more features which again action uh, users are are very much used to um thank you very much mike plowman for the five pound super chat i really appreciate it sir thank you very very much um i really appreciate all your comments as well mike in on on all of the subject matters we cover um there's, there's a there's a a really nice nucleus of viewers and channel members who comment very regularly on all, all of our products and um, yeah as i say I, I really appreciate interacting with all you guys so that's that's interesting so again i'm you know being devil's advocate i suppose from the point of view that could this actually be this release actually be the three stages of this product could it be the fact that the action two in its three forms could actually be Three different products so dji want to be able to say you know this isn't just this one product so hence they're going to stage the releases essentially there's arguments for and against it frankly of course we are all hoping to see a certain dji mavic is there is there a mavic that's been leaked recently i, I, I really can't remember <laughs> um, but yes we we have of course been having lots and lots of leaks recently regarding the dji mavic 3 um which started off as those Drone Emiso, Drone Modelismo, uh, the Brazilian YouTube channel, um, started off as those renderings, the sort of the drawing renderings, and then very quickly, thanks to people like Jasper Ellens, uh, came to the fore with, with actual photographs of what the model is going to look like. And here we have what we believe is the, the back and side of a new smart controller as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if this is the Mavic 3 that, that's coming out during this release cycle. I think it's certainly going to dwarf the others. So I could see why they would put that at the end. It would make sense. You know, if you release the um, the Mavic 3 at the start of this, if October 20 was the Mavic 3, then really that's going to very much over overshadow all of the others, although there are shadows going on all of those. Anyway, so I'm breaking it down too much there. Um, and yeah, it, it is, it, 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 it's something which is exciting. Now there is this battery release, which Jasper has been sharing as well. Um, see the little 27 on the button there and this does show something fairly similar to what we're seeing over here let me just move this picture across very very slightly so we could see the dji picture behind it so you can see here we, we do have those four lights and the dot and again as as jasper's own picture shows but it isn't quite the same shape and i know they're being neat and i know they're trying to bring it into the marketing and everything else like that but I, I do wonder if these sections are actually showing us that we could be seeing the same product as a modular product because they are the same size box the whole way down and whether that is a hint that this is something modular um, but is in essence one product across the three again i'm i'm open i'm open to persuasion frankly <laughs> Um, I think is, is is what I would say there. Now we we've also of course um, had the the DJI Pro camera, which has been doing the rounds an awful lot um, in the last few months. We know that this thing is out in the wild and is being tested quite extensively um, everywhere, frankly. Um, and um, a lot of people have their hands on this product, and it's it's something which is going to be very very exciting. Which is a a a pro level, I wouldn't quite call it cinema level, but pro level camera certainly, which is going to be very exciting. Um, and yes, and, and as Jasper says, note this button we also see on on the the mini bottom. 
Yeah, indeed. I mean, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see. Obviously, the only way we're going to know is when the release actually happens, for sure. We will obviously keep you informed of anything, any other information that we do get. But I, I certainly don't think, as far as my predictions based on, on what I think it is, I think we could very much see a single product released over three dates, which are which is a modular camera which can then do 360 and can and then do other tricks etc that actually hits three different marketplaces i i could certainly see that this this release this marketing the leaks etc certainly fits that criteria i could also 100 percent agree with jasper's um uh imagery here from the point of view that we could be seeing three different products that to me is is also very much a possibility um what what I don't think we're going to see is a DJI Mini 3 in any of these releases. I'm, I, I would be surprised if all of these releases, with the dates being so close, would all be, if they are three different products, that they'd all be immediately available. We might see some direct pre-orders and then orders coming out, obviously with the things like Chippergeddon and Chippergeddon. Well, the, the, the two Geddons that are surrounding the tech world, one getting it to you with the supply chain issues that, that are affecting things globally, um, but also the chip shortage as well. So it, it, it will certainly be interesting from that point of view. So let's, let's have a very quick look in the chat and find out what people are saying about this yeah and jasper says it, it is obviously a drone button yeah I, I know what you mean jasper I, I do i really do let me just blow that up a little bit and it it, it it does play on my mind a little bit in terms of that but yeah because it, it doesn't look like the amount of space that they would take up on a, a small action to do that kind of thing it certainly is a removable one um jasper says for the love of uh, god please tell people the mini 3 is an unbased hoax yeah i mean it, it is the mini 3 has been something which dji themselves are quoted in the press as saying isn't happening or, or rather that they're they're not planning very much the same way as they came out and actually spoke briefly about the uh the phantom 5 so it, it is it isn't something that they they say they're working on at the moment obviously you know who, who knows with these companies but i certainly would not expect a mini 3 to be bumbling around the corner anytime soon um in, in my opinion so we'll have to wait and see from that point of view uh, sam moore whilst the marketing would be very dji uh, for this being one product the dates are what are swaying me from this uh, dji is so cryptic they are and this show shows that that, that and, and the other videos which will be bombarded within the next 24 48 hours uh, on this subject matter shows that that cryptic marketing does work doesn't it frankly um it's it's it's, ex it's exciting and it's interesting to talk about certainly which is why we try to keep all of these leaks and rumors into one show here on geeks of so it doesn't leak out all over the channel as it were john Cooper is asking how many will buy the mavic 3 here it will be a great drone but too expensive for me now that's interesting because i know that the packages that we've been seeing again on on different people's twitter accounts including jasper's it have have been talking about a, a, a wide range but certainly we would all of course want the best possible drone the biggest the biggest bang for our buck that we could possibly get and some of the figures that people are talking about for the mavic 3 cine uh, which will be uh, pro res um, uh, capable are astonishing frankly and you have to start almost putting them into the space of is this almost an inspire three type of you know bridge essentially from the point of view of what of what that drone will be uh, capable of which is um which is scary really uh, mike plowman if the m3 was to be available october 20th we'd have an fcc filing by now i'd imagine uh, it's usually a couple of weeks before release yes indeed I, I, and I, I do agree with jasper's rendering here from the point of view that the if the mavic 3 is one of these three i certainly think it is the last one i completely agree with him on that on that side of things um so it, it is going to be interesting and yes we haven't seen the fcc filings yet for the mavic 3 uh, which you would expect to see pretty soon frankly um let me have a look anything else here in the chat that people are talking about um john Cupy getting excited about it which is awesome and uh, yeah sounds expensive says the captain uh, 2012 yeah it, it, it's certainly going to be you know that that techtober month is is certainly um going to prove to be an expensive one especially for dji fans that like to buy all of the products uh, that they have that, that come up the, the the c labels have been mentioned a couple of times in the chat and um 
it, it, it is something which will be interesting to see what happens from that point of view. Obviously, we had the CAA interview on the channel uh, recently, which, which said that the manufacturers have what they need. So it'll be interesting to see if it is if it is C um, uh, certified. Uh, it'll be interesting to see we do have so we have put some follow up questions from that interview to the CAA. So it'll be interesting to see their responses as far as how the drone manufacturers actually get the label on there. So how how the testing happens and that type of thing, which which I think needs more clarification as well. Uh, but there we go. That is basically everything that I have at the moment for this the second episode of the DGI show. Short and sweet. I don't want to repeat a lot of what is out there already for you people. As I said, there's a link in the description to go along and uh, follow Jasper on Twitter. That's certainly a very quick way of finding out some of the direct bits and pieces that are coming up. Uh, Nick H, just very quickly, in the Mini 3 on the 5th of November? No, I don't think so. I don't think you're going to see a Mini 3. Well, I'm fairly confident you won't see a Mini 3 this year, especially with these releases. Uh, but as I say, that's it for the DGI uh, show here on Geeks Wonder. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a great crowd to, to bring in uh, this early um, on, a, on an evening. We're going to try and do some of our impromptu streams around this time of day, 6.30 p.m. UK time. Um, we do have a, another live show, which is our regular show coming on Thursday, um, which will be 8, 9 o'clock. I uh, haven't decided on the final time yet. Um, and on that, we're going to, as I say, we're going to be talking about the CAA interviews, discussing that as the three amigos, myself, Stephen and Andrew, and also just touching on the drone prep um, landowner airspace uh, video, uh, which we live streamed yesterday as well. So uh, I look forward to all of that. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you next time.